Hello everybody, we are back again and we're just kind of going through some of my gear as you've probably seen in some other videos we've done. Uh, just kind of giving you an idea of what I use, why I use it, how I use it. Um, again, I'm Bobby from Tucka CG Fly Shop. If you don't know that already, this is the first time you're visiting our channel, I really appreciate it. Just want to mention to everyone on here that's watching it right now, if you have not, go subscribe. Like, follow, comment on this video. Also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. For Tucka CG Fly Shop, go to our web store, flyshopusa.com. If there's anything on there you need or would like to buy, go for it. All right, let's jump into this. So I have two rod carriers. Both are fish, fish pond. One is the Dakota. One is the Dakota 45. What's the difference? This one's 45 inches. This one's not. I don't know the measurement on this one. So that's the main difference. Um, why do I have two? That's a good question, I would say. I'm sure people would ask that. So this, is, this one will carry... Um, nine foot or less length rods. So this is a good one for your nine foot five weight, you know, eight and a half, four, whatever, seven and a half, three, things like that. So that's what this one is mostly geared for. This one, the 45 incher, will carry 10 foot rods. It will also carry spay rods and things like that up to a certain, you know, a 16 foot spay rod may not fit in this. I've never tried that. I don't have a 16 foot spay rod. I don't fish in the Pacific Northwest too often. So it's not something that I carry, but my like 12 and a half, 13 foot spay rods fit in this just fine. So that's the reason I have this. And when I say spay, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're kind of new to fly fishing, there's actually two handed rods where you cast with two hands on the rod. And those rods are a lot longer than your nine foot rods um, to gain that leverage and advantage for the cast. And that's a whole nother topic that we won't dive into today. But I thought I would kind of just quickly go through these. They're pretty simple. The concept of them is pretty basic. The beauty of these is you can travel with these, you can carry multiple rods. So if you're doing a trip out west and maybe you're retired and you know got a month out there and you wanna take more than one rod, or if you're just doing a week long vacation and you know, hey, we're gonna be fishing some high elevation, smaller stuff, maybe a, a high alp, alp, uh, alpine lake, if I can talk today. Or maybe you're fishing you know, a, a float trip, um, whether it's here or out west, wherever you're traveling to, you, know, you may wanna take a couple rods or three rods or something like this. And these are great options to do that. The cool part about them is you can actually store other things in them besides your rod and reel. So let's dive in here. I'm going to get this big one out of the way for now um, and just kind of jump into the little one here and I'll spin it around where y'all can see it. Well, let's look at the front first. First of all, it's got some, some just storage pocket here that are see-through as you can see my hand there, which is nice. Um, this gives you a spot. Maybe you want to throw some spools of tippet, um, you know, whatever it may be in here, packs of leaders you know, your nippers, some hemostats, whatever it is. Again, be smart what you put on this because you can carry this onto an airplane. So you don't want to put your pocket knife in here or anything like that that you're not allowed to take on the plane. Um, so be smart with what you do putting these kind of exterior or interior pockets on it. So let's go ahead and get it open here. And I'll show you why I don't just use this for travel. I use this for everyday fishing use. And the beauty is, is I can always bring all my rods, have an idea of like, hey, what are we going to fish today? Some days, you switch it up in the middle of the day. You start somewhere and then halfway through the day, you go, man, the fishing here is not that great. Let's drive up here and fish. And that way you got your rod for that next place. So I kind of keep this with me and it gives me a place to store some tippet and leader and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff's already in my, my fishing pack as it would be, but I also carry extra spools of tippet, a bunch of different ones there. Um, I'm gonna spin this around where I can probably hold it up a little where y'all can see it a little better. So you can kind of see the design of it. You know, I've got some gear straps in here to throw a rod tube on a pack or something, an extra dry fly box that I keep. Um, if I want to go super lightweight, minimalist, if I'm going up high or something like that, and don't want to have a lot of weight on me. I've got different reels. So as you can see, I've got everything from a little reel up to, you know, like a, that'd be like four or five weight rod right there. Um, these are movable, which are nice. So you can, depending on how many reels or what you have in here that you want to protect. And then below it here in the covered case is all my rods. So I've got three rods in here. It's a nine foot, uh, five weight Radian from Scott. I've got an, a Carbon XL, nine foot, five weight from Echo. And then this right here is an Echo fiberglass. I forget the length on this. Uh, what is it? Six foot nine, three weight. So that's what that little reel's for. That's a fun rod to fish in the National Park, by the way, or up on the Parkway, Blue Ridge Parkway. Little fiberglass rod, man, super fun to cast and fish and all that good stuff. So not a lot going on. It, it really is what you see. I mean, it is for rod and reel storage mainly, but you do have the extra compartments that make it a little nicer. And, you know, it's something if you want me to deep dive more into 
um, what rods I carry, stuff like that, leave a comment and we can always do another video on like getting deeper into what's in these bags other than just rods and reels and stuff like that. But I wanted to give you a quick, a quick snapshot of what were in these and why I use them. So, so the, the why I use them is a good question. It's because you can carry so much stuff with you. And if you decide that you want to switch up your packs, and again, this isn't going to be something that you're going to um, jump right into when you first get into the sport because you're just trying to get what you need. But as you grow in the sport, I mentioned this in a couple other videos, you know, you buy that, that beginner rod. Well, at some point you upgrade or something like that, and now you have two rods. Or your pack, you buy a small pack, and the next one you buy, it's a little bigger. Same thing with this stuff. So at some point, you're going to have extra nippers, probably an extra pair of hemostats, extra whatever. These are great places to store those and carry these with you, and then you always have everything. And if you switch your pack from your small pack to your big pack or your big pack to your small pack because of where you're fishing, and you forget something at the house, you may have it in here and be able to cover, cover yourself for the day. So the big one is very similar to the little one. This one's got a little bit more in it because this is, I've got spay rods in here and not to get too deep in spay fishing, but you have different shooting heads and lines and spools and reels and stuff like that. So as you can see, I've got actual different heads and fly lines up top here where I've just used my old spools and spooled the line off and all that stuff. A pair of pliers, some indicators, some other tippet and stuff like that um, that's in it. So those outside pat pouches are nice. And I've kind of got the same setup on the inside here too. There's a bunch of stuff in this one as far as extra spools and lines for the spade get up. As you can see, these are all different shooting heads. And again, if you want to know more about this, I can try to do a YouTube video somewhat on this, but this is definitely probably more of a conversation in the shop. But it is possible to do, like talk about one spay head at a time, maybe. You know, what's the difference between Skagit and Scandi and things like that, that if you're interested in that, we can get into it. So got another pouch. This has got different sinking heads in it. So everything from floating to quick sinking to intermediate sinking and stuff, all for spay lines. And as you see, here's a different spool. This is just a spool, it's not even real, that pops into another reel. So I've got it spooled up with different ones. Um, got my hatch reel. That's my main spay reel. It's heavy, but it balances the rod really nice. So this is like four generations ago. This is probably built in the mid to late 2000s, I think. I forget when I bought that, but it's been a long time ago. I do have my 10 foot rod in here. So this is a Scott Flex uh, four weight, 10 foot four weight. Love this rod. This is a great all around. This is not a Euro nymphing rod per se. Um, it was built a little bit more for versatility. So do a lot of fishing with that. And then um, in here's the big boys. So as you can see, these are a lot longer, even than a 10, 10 foot rod. That's a 10 foot rod. That's a 12 and a half foot rod. So um, quite a bit of difference. And that's the reason you need the 45 inch to be able to fit these. Cause these take up, as you can see, almost every bit of that 45 inches in there gets taken up with these rods. So I've got a couple six weights in here, which are uh, spay rods. And then I've got a switch rod, which is like a, a three weight switch rod. So it's a trout spay is what they call it. But as you can see, this one being it's not in a tube, you can kind of see the two different handles. So you actually hold this at the bottom and the top for those of the, that aren't familiar with this and you do different casts. Um, spay fishing, just to kind of jump into this and not get into it too deep, but mention it to you, is a great way, or I shouldn't say spay fishing, but two-handed rod fishing is a great way to fish, especially if you have shoulder issues or mobility issues. Shoulder issues, it just takes a lot of the shoulder activity out of the cast. You're still gonna use your shoulder a little bit, so don't take that the wrong way, but you're not gonna use it as much. So it helps a little bit with that. It also helps with being able to bomb a cast way out there um, and not have to make you know five false casts to get it out there. Literally, like within two seconds, you just threw a 70 foot cast. Um, it also helps mobility. So if you're not a great wader or the water's high or we, you know, we have a rainstorm or a dam release, whatever the instance may be for you, you don't have to wade out very far because you can cast far without having to throw a back cast behind you. The other advantage of it is it's gonna make you exceptionally good at roll casting with your single handed rod. It will improve your, your roll casting tremendously because you learn techniques that will help you load the rod by using the tension of the water on the line to build a cast. So I love it. That's the reason I have a whole separate pack for it is because I got into that pretty heavy. As you can see, I've got four rods in there for it and a bunch of different heads and stuff. And it's just a good way to do it. But overall, whether you pick this one or the regular one that holds nine foot rods, for just everyday fishing use, they're a great pack to have. 
for travel, they're exceptionally good. They're durable. You know, they, they can take a beating if you did have to check it. Again, this one I know you can carry on. I'm not 100% sure if they'd let you carry this one on. They may. I mean, they let you carry a guitar on. So that'd be something for the individual airline to answer. Don't know if that's a possibility because some of those bins are only so wide. So I don't know if this would actually lodge in there depending on the airplane you're on. So something to check out. But this one I know you can carry on. Um, but anyways, that's kind of the video. Again, go like and share and follow and all that good stuff. And if you enjoy the video, give us the thumbs up. Really appreciate you listening today. and Hope to see you in the shop or on the water.